Hello guys, this is Mike from makeprogramming.org and today I'm going to show you uh, how to write two strings. Um, these become very important uh, pretty much when you write an object and you want to print out that object uh, you want to have a string representation so pretty much English words or, or numbers that represent your object not a memory address so just so I don't have to write two files I'm gonna write a class up here and we're gonna call this a square make a square object or something real simple alright messing up here alright and then I'm gonna take in in uh, side and taking a construct we're gonna create a constructor just like we did in the last video and say int x uh, I'm gonna say side equals x and within this constructor we will say private and side and we're going to make another one another variable private and um, area and we're going to say area equals uh, side times side okay that's the area is when you take two sides and you multiply them so down here we're going to create a two string that represents first off let's not create a two string see what happens when we try to print this object out okay so if let's create a name ready school i can't type tonight square s equals new square and let's set the sides to two so should be an area of four. It's a uh, system dot out dot print line, and we're going to put in the object s. And just for just so y'all can follow me a little bit better, let's not use variables by a letter, and let's actually give it a, a decent name so we can follow a little bit better. So we're going to print out the square object we just created. Make sure this is lowercase because if you uppercase it, it's referring to the actual class and it, you're going to run into some problems. So let's run this and see what happens when we just print it out. See, it's going to print out a hexadecimal memory address. You don't want that. What you want is uh, 2 times 2 is 4, so you want that. Let's create a two string public and you're going to want to return a string value that's the return type and then the method is to string no parameters okay you're getting an error right now because you need a return statement for the string you can either change that to void which will get rid of it which will not be a true to string or you can add the return statement but we'll get to that so don't worry about the red underlining uh, let's set up a string um, uh, let's see string um, object name okay let's just say object name equals we're going to say the area of this square is concatenate that with the actual variable name and say area. Now let's return a string and an object name is a string so let's return that. Should be no more errors and let's see what happens now when we print this out. Before we're getting this memory address okay so now it's saying the area of this square is 4 so that's a way of creating a, 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 a string representation of an object and 
that comes in very handy because every time you create an object, if you want to print out, um, you know, what it is, or the characteristics of it, or whatever you want, you can customize it to print out the fields that you want printed out. And another cool shortcut in Eclipse, I, I don't use it too often, but I do see people use it sometimes, is you right click, go to source, and you can generate a couple different types of methods. So go to generate to string, and right here in the fields, which are these private variables up here, side and area, you can select which ones you want into your to string. And we're gonna just keep them all. Say okay. And right here, you don't necessarily need that override, but we can keep that. It's gonna print this default to string constructor or not constructor, I'm sorry, two string representation and let's see what happens. So it prints out a square object and the fields are side and area and it gives you the values of both. So that's pretty cool and you can mess around with this two string. Um, there's a lot of other methods that we can create from source. Let's see getters and setters. Let's let's go over that right now too. No, not I'm going to make that another video. So I'm going to call it a night on this video, but you get the point. If uh So if there's any questions, please write comments below. I I check my YouTube thing pretty much daily so I can return any questions y'all have. Uh, so please subscribe to my videos, please watch and please spread the word to your friends and I'm trying to make as many as I can but uh, you know sometimes it's hard to get the time to do it but as soon as I get a free second I love posting these things and hopefully I get a little bit better at explaining this stuff. I know it very well but sometimes it's hard to put uh, these lessons into words so bear with me trying to learn how to present this material the best way I can. So y'all have a great night. Please subscribe again. And I have a website, mcprogramming.org. Uh, it's not the best, but I want to work on that too and try to get all this content up on there. So y'all have a good night, and thank you for watching.